sports fans and baseball fans and out of the park fans. I know on my channel it doesn't seem to be as many out of the park fans as other uh, things, but I love out of the park baseball, so I'm going to keep playing it. I'm going to keep shoving it at you. Sooner or later, you're going to come around. So uh, anyway, um, first of all, let me get down here and hit the volume get the volume down okay so um, we are in a situation where I am doing the um, 1994 White Sox season and as you can see we've got the central division right here and uh, our White Sox are 49 and 45 49 and 45. The Indians are 56 and 41 and a half game in front of us. And that is who we play today, I believe. And Kansas City is leading the division 56 and 40. And below us, 10 games below us is the Minnesota Twins. And quite a ways back behind us and in last place in our division are the Milwaukee Brewers. So uh, we've got to win some games. We got to start winning. Uh, you can see that we had lost to the uh, Indians yesterday, nine eight, and so uh, we are. And then let me here. Let me go to. Let me just put myself over here next to myself. You can see the resemblance, right? Um, let's go to the team schedule, and you can see that. We have, yeah, we have three, well, we, uh, yeah, we lost to the Indians 9-8, and now we have three more against them at Cleveland, and so we got to get on with those games, so let's get on with it. I'll put myself back over here, I suppose. So you can see here are the lineups. We have uh, Cora at second base, Lance Johnson in center, Big Frank Thomas at BH, Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco at first base, Robin Ventura at third, Guillen at short, Mike Lavalier at catcher, some dude named Talbot in left field, and then another guy named Morgan in right field. And I remember, this is out of the park baseball. It's a baseball engine that has minor leagues, and I am not the general manager of the team. I'm just the manager, so I take the players that the general manager gives me and um, try to win with them. So we've got uh, Gilbert, right-hander Gilbert on the mound. I don't know who he is, really. I don't know him that well, although he does. he is 4-4 four four with a 455 earned run average and a 130 whip. Uh, and uh, for the Indians, they're going to have uh, Wayne Kirby leading off and playing left field. And then Jim Tomey at DH, Carlos Baerga at second, Manny Ramirez at right, Eddie Murray at first base. Is it any surprise that we're, you know, not doing well against the Indians or not as good as the Indians? Uh, Pineda at third, Valera at center. Tony Pena at catcher and Roundtree at shortstop. And they're going to have El, El Presidente, Dennis Martinez, on the mound. So, um, yeah, I, I don't like that matchup, but we'll see what we can do with it. And so let me see here. Yeah. All right, so we will swing away. We're up first because we are in Cleveland and it's Joey Cora. And uh, any day they want to pitch, that's fine. It's fine with me. And that's gonna, Cora is hitting it into the gap. He's going shopping at the gap and might have a triple. No, he's gonna stop it. So 
So uh, we got a leadoff double there. That's nice. Oh, whoa. What happened? I got an injury already? Yeah, I did. Cora got injured on that. All right. We're going to need a replacement second baseman. And I guess that'll have to be Grayback. And uh, so we're going to go back to the game action with now Grayback at second base. And Lance Johnson up. El Presidente. We jumped on El Presidente for maybe a run here. No. But we are going to have runners at the corners. And Frank Thomas up. That's exactly what you would want, except that he just blew Frank Thomas away. Unreal. All right, so Julio down by the schoolyard. Let's see if he can get a base hit. He'll maybe get the run. Yes, he will get the run in. Not the really, you don't really want to have to manufacture a run when you have runners at the corners and no outs. But uh, that's what we had to do. And uh, there was a balk, I suppose. Yeah. And now Robin Ventura strikes out. So we come away with the lead because we get it. We did get a run. We're going to move Gray back to second base. And we're going to go back out. And now we got Tommy Gilbert. Tommy Gilbert pitching for us. Let's see if he can... Uh, keep us in first there uh, with the lead no <laughs> maybe not there, there, there's a double right down the line did we get him no i mean you gotta say they're, they're, they got it. all right so lead off double by kirby and now jim tomey he's gonna be a tough customer did we get him no so kirby steals third and now he's only 90 feet away with jim and then he's going to ground a shortstop and tie the game. And that brings to the plate Carlos Baerga. Baerga, bye bye, Baerga. It's a home run. And now they have a two to one. So Gilbert not off to a great start. Uh, ground out to Graybeck. And uh, Tommy Gilbert pitching to Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray. And Eddie Murray has looked like it's going to be a, um, well, shallow pop-up or a shallow fly. All right, so they uh, the Indians pull ahead there, 2-1. to one. Ozzie Guillen is up at the plate. And he is going to ground out. And that brings to the plate Mike Lavalier. Mike Lavalier is going to ground out two down quickly. And here's Justin Talbot, the left fielder. Where does my GM get these guys? All right. So, and then Chris Morgan. Now, Chris Morgan, I, I you know, I acted like I didn't know who Chris Morgan was, but we did start the season. I am going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. We're going to try to stretch it because there's two outs, really. Why? And uh, now we've got Craig Gray back up. And he strikes out. So up at the plate, Roberto Pineda against my man, Tommy Gilbert. And he's going to lace one to center field for a base hit. And we're going to just pitch to the next guy. And he's going to pop it up. Pop up! So there's one down. And Tony Pena, the catcher, up with one down and a man at first. And that's an out. Nice play by the right fielder. Sweet! Now we got Tommy Gilbert pitching to Adam Roundtree. And he strikes out, and we're out of that inning. So, let's keep going. We got Lance Johnson batting against El Presidente to lead off the inning. 
Then he grounds out to shortstop. Man, we started out so great, and now we can't seem to even get anything. Frank Thomas, who struck out last time, he laces one down the left field line, though, and that's probably going to be a double. And it is. And uh, with a man at second and one down, we have Julio Franco. And he's got a big, big pop up, and they dropped it. How did they drop that? Unbelievable. He dropped. They dropped a 10 mile in the air pop up. Nice. All right. So Robin Ventura is up with runners at the corners and only one out. And he walks to load him up. And bring up Ozzy Guijan. Of course, now I'm in the really terrible part of my lineup. But he's got it looked like maybe a deep enough fly. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, we tied it. It worked. And now Lavalier. Again, that really, I had Lavalier up. You know I'm, I'm not going to hold the guy. There's no way. So, uh, tie game now. And Gilbert dealing to Wayne Kirby who started off with, I believe, a single and then stole, or maybe a double, started off with a double and stole third. But now he's out. And uh, we've got a Jim Tomei up with one down. And that's going to be a ground out to second. And now, and you can see here, Gilbert is getting burned up pretty quickly. Um, because we're only in the third inning, and he's already almost halfway burned up. And now we got him dealing to Bayerga. Bayerga gets a base hit, but there's two outs, and I don't think he's that fast. And that's going to be a fly out to center field. Good. All right, so still 2-2. Two -two, and... Uh, Justin Talbot, the left fielder, at the plate, and he's going to walk. Brings up Morgan. Chris Morgan, the center fielder, is out on strikes. And Craig Grayback, who is 0 for 1 today, playing for Cora, who got injured, hitting a double. And now we have runners at first and second with only one down and the meat of the order coming up with Lance Johnson. And Lance Johnson is going to hit into a fielder's choice. And that's going to bring up Frank Thomas. Now, come on. If there was ever a time, Frank, ever, if there was ever a time, and he, well, he gets a base hit. I mean, I would have liked a home run, but, you know, that's, <laughs> that's just me. So, uh, yeah, now we've got. Um, runners at first and second with two down and Julio Franco striking out. All right, so Gilbert now dealing to Eddie Murray. And us with a 3-2 lead. And Eddie Murray is going to hit it to center field. Thank you. Roberto Pineda. Roberto Pineda is going to ground out to second. And Tommy Gilbert now dealing to Ricardo Valera. And whoa, whoa, all right, no, he hit it, shallow fly ball. I'm kind of like how I am at the stadium. Gone, gone. And then it's really just a shallow fly ball. So uh, now we've got uh, Ventura still up against Martinez. Top of the fifth now, though. I'm going to try to get Gilbert through five. I mean, after all, the man has a lead. That's going to be a deep fly to center. Almost to the track, but not quite. Ozzie Guillen up. Ozzie Guillen with a bullet drive to first base, but it's played by Tommy. Or maybe not Tommy. I don't know. And then uh, we are going to... See Mike Lavalier batting. See what he's got, and he uh, pops out or like a like a sinking line drive to second base. Uh, you know Gilbert, he's got a little still in the bank, 
I think he can work. Whoa! But he allows a leadoff single. He may not be out there very long. Man at first for Roundtree, the shortstop. Now he's trying to bunt. Um, two strikes. Struck him out. Man at first with one down and Wayne Kirby, who we've seen can be dangerous, and he does walk. Now they got two runners on, and he is really starting to get tired now. And now he's probably really, really tired. Bases loaded. One out. Let's see if you can turn the DP, and you do. Nice. Now I am going to warm up. So let's get that bullpen warming up. We got Danny Pfeiffer is the only guy out there that is even remotely um, not or not remotely tired. So uh, Talbot is um, going to bat against El Presidente. And El Presidente gives up a double. Nice. So we got Morgan up. Morgan's going to move the runner over. That's nice. We got a man at third now, 90 feet away with only one out and Gray back up. And Gray back is not going to be able to get the run home because they had the infield in. So there's two down and Lance Johnson up. And Lance Johnson is going to get on by an air and then move to second base. So it's four to two, White Sox, and Thomas up with a man at second. And they're going to walk him smartly, I think. That was a smart choice. And then Franco is up. And Franco hits a slow grounder to short, and nobody. They're not going to get anybody. Oh, they do. <laughs> All right, they did. So now I'm going to go <coughs> take Tommy Gilbert out of the game. I don't know who uh, Pfeiffer is, but I hope he's good because uh, he's in now. And usually I let the, the pitcher from before start the inning to see if he can get the first out or two. But Pfeiffer blows the first guy away. And now he's facing Eddie Murray. And Eddie Murray is going to fly to center field for the second out. And now Roberto Pineda. And he is going to fly to left. So we do get, Pfeiffer gets him one, two, three, which is also good. Uh, we got Robin Ventura Highway leading off. We, we really want to pad this lead, but he flies out to right, one down. Ozzie Guillen. And he strikes out. And now, Mike Lavalier. Mr. Mike Lavalier is going to be out. So that was us in the top of the seventh. We're going to the bottom of the seventh with a 4-2 to two lead. And Pfeiffer still not um, tired and was really dominant in his first inning of work, and that's going to be an out, so he gets the first out here. He's retired four straight guys, and Tony Pena's up, and Tony Pena, no. Oh, yeah, no. That's an error on somebody, and an error lets Pena go to second base. You still have a two-run lead, though. Um, Albert Bell. Albert Bell is going to fly out to right. And that's going to be the two down. Man at second. And uh, you got Wayne Kirby up. And Wayne Kirby is going to be on by an infield hit. And now Piper has to face Tomei. And they walked Tomei. He didn't discuss it with me, but, you know, or maybe it was just he lost his, he's losing his control. That is going to be a 
fly ball to right, and that's going to be end the inner left, and that's going to end the inning. And uh, so now we're in the top of the eighth. And uh, I, after we get like an out, I'm going to get the bullpen up again. That's a strikeout. So now I'm going to get the bullpen up. Um, let's go to McCaskill. I mean, everybody out there is starting to tire. So um, Chris Morgan's up with one down. And he's going to pop it up for the third baseman. There's two down and Gray back up. And Gray back is going to be out. So we go down one, two, three. I'm going to let Pfeiffer at least start the inning because it doesn't look like he's really gashed yet. And he just gassed the guy that was at the plate. So there's one down and Eddie Murray up. And Eddie Murray, no. It's going to be late. It's an infield hit. And uh, Kenny Lofton. And he walks Lofton. Yeah, okay. Now he's gassed, and we are going to bring in McCaskill. With only one down and runners at first and second. And he's going to ground out into a uh, force play at second. And there is two down with Tony Pena. And he walks Pena. And now Omar Vizquel. And uh, we're going to get somebody? No, we're not. So it's 4-3. Another infield hit by the Indians. Um. And how is, Mc oh my God, McCaskill's already tired. See, I told you he was tiring. But they do make the play in right field, and he barely gets out of that inning. And we are going to definitely get somebody else up in the bullpen, Roberto Hernandez, we're going to get up. See, this is what happens when you have a gassed bullpen. And I hate that situation, but the computer is... The computer is more liberal with bringing in relievers than I would be. Um, so Lance Johnson is up. Lance Johnson, he's going shopping at the Gap, and now he's got a leadoff double. I think uh, Thomas is up next, so I'm not going to sacrifice him over. No. I see what he does with Thomas. They do walk Thomas again smartly. And that brings Franco to the plate. And Franco is going to be walked, and now the bases are full with no outs. And Robin Ventura is going to pop out. No, 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 he dropped him. The Indians are making some crazy errors here. Um, so Ventura is up again still. And that time he makes him pay with a salami. Grand slam salami. So it's 8-3 now. And um, I, mean, I could go out there and pitch now and get the rest of the... In fact, I am going to... No, no, you know what? Well, let's see. That's going to maybe be a base hit. Yeah, we're just, wait a minute. Was he out? No, he's out. So, Kelbit um, is up at the plate. Yeah, we're just, we're hitting so much that I think we got to sit down or at least get somebody else up. Let's get Gossage up too. And uh, Morgan up at the plate. And Morgan is going to fly out, looks to center. Yep. But we got an 8-3 lead, so we should win this game. Um, McCaskill is gassed. I'm going to let him get one guy, and that one guy got a base hit. 
So we are going to take McCaskill out. And we're going to put in Roberto Hernandez because it says he's ready and not tiring, which is good. And they, the next guy gets a base hit. I mean, they need five runs, but, yeah, you know. Hernandez now pitching to Manny. Manny Ramirez. Manny being Manny. That's going to be a pop-out to short. So there's one down. Um, Eddie Murray up. He's dangerous. And he strikes out with something in his eyes. And then uh, Sandy Alomar, Jr. And Sandy Alomar Jr. hits a home run. So now they're only down by a run. And I'll bet you that he's tired. He just about is. But I'm going to see if he can get one more batter. I'm going to see maybe we can go one more batter and get him out and win the game. And it looks like we did. So that's going to be, I, is that the final? No. Yes, yes it is. So we win that game 8-6. I thought it was 8-7, but we win it 8-6. There's the uh, there's the uh, batting line score in case you want to look at it. Let me move myself over here. Get myself out of the way. So you can look at the uh, box scores there. Um, Thomas 2 for 3 with 2 walks. Nice day for him. And then there's the pitching lines. El Presidente pitched seven innings, allowed eight hits and three earned runs. While Gilbert got the win going five and allowing two earned runs on five hits and two walks. Pfeiffer did a really good job in relief. And then McCaskill did not. And then Hernandez somehow got the win. So, or hung on and got the, uh, well, not really anything. He just made sure we won the game. So that's where we are. We're going to finish today and uh, we'll go back to the standings, Major League Baseball standings. And now you can see we're 50 and 45, five games over 500 and five and a half back in the central. That's going to be it for me, sports.